Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss this packet tracer activity, troubleshooting static routes. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, now coming back to our packet tracer activity. In this activity, uh, we will uh, locate the problem, then determine the solution, then implement the solution. And finally, we will verify that the issue is resolved. First of all, we will locate the problem. PC1 cannot access files on the server. Coming to our topology, here we can see our PC1. Also, we can see our server. So, uh, this PC1 cannot access uh, files on this server. Now, locate the problem using the appropriate show commands on all our routers and in troubleshooting commands on the PCs that you have learned from previous chapters. What are some of the troubleshooting commands on our routers and PCs that can be used to identify the source of the problem? Yes, here obviously we can use uh, some of the troubleshooting commands like uh, show IP root, uh, trace root, tracer, uh, even ping, or even we can use a uh, show running config. Okay, first of all, what we will do, we will uh, check the IP address of this PC1 uh, using our addressing table. Okay, we will go to PC1, we will go to desktop, we will use command prompt, and here we are going to give IP config, and here we can see IP address details. PC1 172.31.1.126 It's correct. Sum to mask 128 and here we can see the default gateway 172.31.1.1 So it's everything correct. Now we will go to this router R1 and we will verify uh, static routes. So if you observe this topology, here we can see uh, R1 has two directly connected networks and we have to teach uh, three remote networks. So R2 LAN network, here we can see one WAN network between R2 and R3, then R3 uh, LAN network. Here we can see in this topology uh, total uh, five networks. So just uh, we will highlight those networks so that it will be more uh, easy to understand. So we will uh, fill some colors for each network. Here we can see one network. Here is another network. Here we can see our third network. Then here we can see our fifth network. We will use different color. And uh, here we can see our fifth network. Now we will go to this uh, router R1. So we can see her remove is locked. Okay, we will click on it properly. We will go to CLI. Enable. We will use a show IP root. And here we can see the details. Okay, here we will increase the phone size so that it will be more clear for the viewers. We will go to preferences. We'll go to font so cli here we will give better we will give 14 okay apply okay now it's clear okay in this output we can see two directly connected networks it's here and we can see uh, three uh, static routes configured so only we have to uh, verify this uh, configuration. 
here we will use the show running config command and here we can see uh, the static configuration done in this uh, router r1 so here they use exit interface then we have to verify these IP addresses, so something to mask, etc. Coming to our topology, here we can see uh, to this all remote network, I mean uh, to this network or uh, to this 172.31.1.196 network or R3 LAN network, the exit interface is, you will verify that it's serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. So we can see it's correct. And here we will verify uh, the network address. It's 172.31.0.0 slash 24. We will verify that it's here. And it's correct. And here this uh, WAN network 172.31.1.196. And here we can see the prefix is a slash 30. It's correct. Yes. And uh, here is the LAN network 172.31.1.128 and the prefix is slash 26. It's correct. So here we cannot see any uh, configuration problem with this router R1. Now we will verify uh, the configuration on this router R2. R2 has uh, three directly connected networks, so we have to uh, teach uh, two remote networks, uh, these two networks, 172.31.1.0, uh, 172.31.1.128 uh, Now we will go to this router R2, CLI, enable show IP route, okay. And we can see uh, three connected networks. Also, we can see two uh, static uh, networks. So, we have to uh, check these uh, static routes uh, configured correctly or not. And here we can see the configured static uh, route uh, using uh, next hop address. So, we will have to verify the network address and this uh, next hop address. First of all, we will verify uh, to this network 172.31.1.128 uh, slash 26. So here we can see that. And uh, here the next hope address is the IP address of this interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on this router R3. So we have to verify that IP address. We will go to our addressing table and we will verify that. On R3 serial 0 slash 0 slash 1, here we can see the IP address. Okay, now we will verify that. Uh, 172.31.1.194. Oh, here we can see they configured this next hope address incorrectly. Actually, it is 198. They're given here 194. I think they uh, interchanged this uh, next hope address uh, with this uh, static configuration. That address they used here for this another remote network. Anyway, we will check that. Okay, now we will verify uh, R1 uh, LAN. Its address 172.31.1.0. Here we can see that address. Then we have to verify uh, the next hope address. So the next hope address will be the IP address of this interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this router R1. Coming to our addressing table R1 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 it's here and here we can see the IP address 172.31.1.194. So they configured incorrectly they given 198. Yes, so we identified a problem uh, on this router R2. Yes, so here on this router R2, uh, the problem is uh, they uh, configured static route 
incorrectly. I mean, uh, uh, they configured the next to hop address incorrectly for these two remote networks. So, what is the solution? Obviously, we have to remove uh, that incorrect static routes, uh, whatever they set. Then we have to give the correct static route with the proper next to hop address. Now we will verify this router R3. Is there any problem or not? Coming to our topology, here we can see uh, on this router R3 has two directly connected networks. So we have to teach these three remote networks. We will go to the server R3 CLI enable here we can use the show command show IP root and we will verify all the routes here we can see uh, two connected networks and we should have uh, three static routes one and two oh they configured only uh, two static routes so one remote network is missing they did not configure so we will see uh, which route is that here we will give the show command show ip root we will see only static so that we we can see uh, only the static routes okay here we can see our remote network 172.31.0.0 yes it's there and they given the exit interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 it's correct we can verify that here then the next static root 172.31.1.192 slash 30 so they configured this uh, remote network and exit interface is correct so here uh, the problem in this router r3 is uh, there is no root listed uh, for this r1 lan so the solution is obviously uh, we have to configure that static root uh, in this router r3 Okay, so we just identified all the problems in this uh, topology. Now we are going to implement the solution for these problems. If there are any misconfigured static routes, you must remove them before the correct ones can be added to the configuration. Yeah, that should be done in this router R2. Add any missing static routes by configuring directly attached routes. Yes, we, uh, we have seen uh, one route is missing in this router R3. Now we will implement the solution in this router R2. Okay. Enable, we will give the command to show running config so that we can see that incorrect configuration here. So we have to uh, remove these uh, static routes first of all. Okay, we will copy this. We have to go to global configuration mode, configure terminal. Here we are going to remove using this command no. Then this uh, static command. Then we will remove the second root. It's here. No then the command okay now we have to add the correct root okay just we will copy this command and the problem is with the next hope address so it's here is 194 then we will copy this command And here the next hope address is 198. Now we will verify the configuration. We will go to privileged exit mode. Show IP root. We will see only static. And here we can see the correct configuration. Okay, now we will go to router R3 and we have to add this static root coming to R3. Configure terminal. Here we are going to give the command IP root. Then we have to give the remote network address. It's here. Okay. 
172.31.1.0 and here we can see the prefix so it's slash 25 255.255.255 so 25 it's a 128 then we will give the exit interface so here the exit interface is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 okay so that can be a given here serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 then press enter okay here just i pressed ctrl z shortcut key uh, so that we can uh, jump without any command uh, to this uh, privileged exit mode okay now we will uh, verify the configuration show ip root we will verify only static so here we can see uh, that uh, network is added right so we implemented the uh, solution to this router r3 now finally we are going to verify that uh, the issues resolved so now we are going to ping from pc1 to this uh, server okay we will get the ip address of this uh, server from our addressing table and coming to pc1 command prompt here we are going to ping to our server is it working we are waiting for the replies request timed out and it's working now right so uh, next is uh, open a web connection to the server after you correctly identify and implement the correct solution to the problem you will receive a message in the web browser uh, when you connect to the server that can be done so coming to our uh, pc1 we'll close and we'll go to web browser then we will give the IP address of our server uh, in the server browser we'll press go and here we can see troubleshooting static routes congratulations you have completed this activity great here we can see our completion status of this uh, packet tracer activity it's 90 out of 90 now friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions regarding this video, please comment below. And if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.